good morning to the life motivators. We welcome each one each and every day to come in here and just share their time with us just for a moment to be able to come in here and get some inspiration from different things that we're doing within our life of how we're evolving each day to be a better person and learning while we're listening. Well, we're listening first, then we're learning as we're going along. And then we're doing, we're implementing, we're taking action, and then we're teaching others. Everything that we're doing within our businesses, within our life, within everyone that's around us, within our relationships, we're getting better communication skills within our own selves to be able to communicate better with our partners, with our loved ones, with our family members, with our friends, with our coworkers, being able to understand our frequencies of our thought processes before we speak them. Understanding that everything that you have within your life is of fear, but yet we are crushing the fear and knowing what's going on now instead of having the fear of the unknown. Yes, fear is part of our life and we need it. It is a contrast that we need in part of ours to let us know what we don't want to do in our life or want within our life. So we need that with us, but we learn how it's a balance of contrast between the both as we are going through and taking those adventures of the unknown. Because as we go through the unknown, we are telling the fear to set aside because we want to see, we want to learn, we want to listen, we want to know what's on that other side of how we can do it a little bit better. Because where we're at right now, we're in a box. We put ourselves there over these years. Now we're showing people how to lay those box doors down. So that way you can put the box up when needed during a certain situation of life to where you can come into your own little space and think about what you want to do, but yet you have control to lay those doors down and to be able to experience what's all the way around you, 360 degrees. Because everywhere you go, you may not know what's going on or how it's happening, but yet once you show up to a location and you speak to the person who is hosting the event or going whatever your job site you're going to or you know whatever you're doing, once you go somewhere and then you, I don't know what's going on. Well, someone is going to speak up because that's called a leader within an organization. And all of a sudden, they're going to let the people that came know what's going on. And then now, that unknown sets aside. Now you know what's going on. Everybody is going to be working a part. Everybody is going to be doing something special within your life, within this earth. You came here to create it. You came here to make it happen. Now we just have to align with it to make it happen. Because you've designed and created this way before you even came into your mother's womb. While you were that energy source. You created all kinds of things that you wanted to happen down here on this earth. And then you came into your mother's womb and now you're here. But you don't remember exactly why you came. But you have to take the adventure. You have to experience life. You have to meet new people. You have to learn new things as we are continuously growing and evolving daily until the day we go down. As we're learning new things, we're implementing them into our life. As we're listening to those that have success and that we're, what we're looking for, then we're listening to what they have going on and how they're doing it and what books they're reading and what videos they're going to, what events they're going to, who are they surrounding themselves with? Because once you start surrounding yourself with people of like mind and people who have an energy vibration of betterness within their own life, then they're not looking to judge you. They're looking to make themselves better. They're wanting to learn from you because you have an experience of something that I want to learn from. Mr. Rude has all kinds of things that he knows within his head of the nerves and the everything within the body. I listen because he knows. You know, Brother Julio, he has worked with Mr. Um, many different social uh, trainings and has taught people all over the world on different things of working together as a unit, as a family. So I listen because that's what he is doing. He is nourishing others in that area. You know, so as we all have something to give back to this world, to our brothers and sisters, without asking for something in return, we're doing this because it's from our heart. We're doing this because we have learned something new within our life of how we could focus our energies into a new direction and put our thoughts of something that is better than what it used to be. Because we all have situations most people call them problems, but they're just situations because every situation has a solution. All we have to do is clear our minds long enough to figure out what's going on within us because we know this temple better than anybody else except him above. 
but we know what's going on. We can feel the hurts. We can feel the pains. We know where something is aching. And we know when we go out and let's say, I'm going to go out and rake some leaves today. I haven't raked leaves in a few years. Well, I can't today, but it's raining. But let's just example. So the muscles that I will feel this evening after raking, because I haven't utilized them. Well, many people don't utilize the main muscle that we have up here. It's called the brain. Once you start understanding the, the power that you have within here and stop using that 1% and start tapping into 2 or 3% of it. And before you know it, you can tap into 4 or 5% of it. And then now you're connecting both sides of it. Once you start understanding the process that you have within of the learning powers that you have, the knowledge that you already have within you, that's the biggest key right there. The power that you already have, the knowledge that you already have that you came here with. Now, all we have to do is unlock it and say, you know what? I already know all about this. Let me learn more about this. Let me listen to somebody else. And it's going to start jogging memories. And it's going to be awesome to be able to feel that day when you unlock and you say, you know what? I am thankful for being in alignment today. I am thankful for having everything that I have within my life, the people that I have in my life. Once I started giving gratitude to that part right there, it shifted the energies my thought processes because I wasn't thinking good to me. I had to think better to me. I had to expect better because I wasn't expecting the better things within life. But as I started unlocking and unfolding and I got rid of my walls and I knocked them all down and I started aligning myself and then everything started coming and I started getting these downloads like Miss Ashley says all the time. When they come in, I started understanding and receiving and started writing them down. And being able to journal, which I thought was crazy in life when I was younger. People said, you need to start journaling about these visions. You need to start journaling about these thought processes that you have because they are powerful. I didn't understand what I truly had then. I just kept, oh, I got them here. I got them. I didn't have them. They're just memories that faded away and until something jarred them again. This community, when I joined in three, three years ago, jarred so many memories so many thought processes so many visions that i had and i didn't understand them or where they were going you know it's kind of like back in the day when those guys would have those visions the notre Dames and and all them other guys well they couldn't really talk to people about them because they were talking about metal structures rolling across the deserts shooting you know they didn't know what a tank was then so you're trying to describe something to people that hasn't even happened within the world. They didn't even know what all metals were about back then. So trying to explain energies and vibrations and thought processes and how powerful you are within you to others that do not know or have the fear of the unknown of that. Because if they can't tangibly touch the spirit, if they can't tangibly touch God, most people don't believe in it because they can't, ah, he's not here. I can't feel him. I can't taste him. I can't, I can't kiss him, you know? They, so they don't believe. But if you believe within the higher powers that you have within you, the strength that you have within you, just know that you're believing within him. Just know that you're believing within the spiritual realm of life, the source energies that you have within you that work with you daily. You may not be able to hear them or see them, but yet we have these energies. This entire earth is energy. Every living organism to the blade of grasses is an energy we are an energy also but we have been able to understand and been able to create because we were made in his image so he wanted us to come down here and co-create because he couldn't be everywhere and do all of this all at once so he has us here to be able to come down here and create the different things that we have in life and now how can we connect the voices and how can we connect the leaders across the world Instead of having to walk across the countryside, social media was invented. So now we're here being able to touch the world at a touch of a button, being able to bring out new opportunities, new ways of thinking, new ways of being better within you, how to help people out of the anxiety, out of the darkness. We have groups all over the place. No matter what you are into, there's a group for it. You know, if there's people that have anxiety, there's a group for that. People are in depression. There's a group for that. Mothers of, of uh, drunk drivers. There's a group for that. You know, it, no matter what your thought process, there's going to be collective people that will come in here and work with you and listen and be part of 
because they know that there's something more within life. As entrepreneurs, we come in here because we know that we are giving our mindset a better thought process because we are building an empire that many don't understand. And it's hard to communicate with other people because they have the fear of the unknown. And there's many hands that could probably raise in here right now. If I say, did you or was you scared and had a little bit of unknown when you first started this online world? Yes, because it wasn't something that we was doing before. We were working a total different job before working for somebody else, went through many educational platforms in life, school, college, so vocational school, social, whatever it was, whatever you did to get that education to do the job that you're at now. All we did was come in and started a new learning process. There was educational courses out there that we have gotten into that is teaching us how to do the affiliate marketing, how to be able to be the leaders that we are within our businesses and how to turn our life into a whole different direction not just for affiliate marketing, but starting any business. Because the educational platform and those colleges take two to four years to go through that when we're teaching people in less than a year. It's that educational platform that is showing the world something new and the opportunities of the unknown can be unfolded right here in front of you if you would pay attention. Because everyone in here has more success within their life in the shortest period of time that they have ever even felt by getting a new thought process saying, I expect to have good things within my life. I know that I am nothing but power. I know I have the ability to do this. I know I have the team, the support, and I know I have everything within me called love because that's where I started mine. I started loving myself. I started giving good energy to myself. Then I was able to start giving it back out to others. And then I started connecting with others because my thought process was where, where, where? And it was Facebook. It was right there. Okay, cool. Oh, there's groups. Oh, I was able to get in with these groups and connect with these people and start talking with these people, networking with these people, understand what they had going on within their lives that they, you know, we're in the darkness too. You know, we all worked our way up. We all was down at the total bottom at one time, maybe in our life. Some of us, you may have never experienced that. But once you get down to the bottom, there's no other place to go. So I started looking up, started reaching up and started saying, you know what, guys, I need a little bit of assistance and I didn't need monetary funds. I just needed someone to listen and give me a different perspective of how I was looking at my life. And then once I started getting the new perspective of the love within me, the power that I had within me, how to talk better to myself. And I started listening. Then I started implementing then my life just did a just complete difference. Did it happen overnight? No. One degree a day. One degree a day is all it took for me to get my life back up on the top side to where I was living again, loving again, having fun again, having smiles on my face again and not frowns, dancing in the rain, enjoying other people because there was many days I didn't want to be around anyone but it's a good day and I love today even though it may be pouring down raining out there today for the second day in a row but guess what I've got a new little lake in my yard I'm gonna go swimming after a while hey in my own yard but we got to love the tropical storms down in the south they'll make you a little bit stronger as you go I think Carol is trying to find us some uh, life jackets for our chickens hey that's gonna be fun right yes all right I'm gonna pass this one over to brother Julio let's Good morning, team. Good morning, guys. Man, that's funny, Thomas. Um, it, I, I love I love our masterminds. I, I love that that's what they are. Every single morning we jump on here, you know, we, we feed off of each other's energy. We help each other get the day started, you know, help each other get our morning started correctly. You know, um, I, I'm, I'm very appreciative to, to, for my current position. But, you know, I want to talk about like, I don't want to word this. Um, I don't want to come off churchy, so to speak, you know, but like, we have victory every single day, guys. We have victory every single day and everything that we're doing and everything that, but you just have to take that position, take that, 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 uh, um, that position of, of confidence. Let's put it that way. You have to take that position of confidence and, and walk with it confidently. You know, how do, why, why should you be so confident? Well, you made it, you made it to another day. You have life in your body. Um, out of, out of all of those seeds, that should have made it you were the one that did you know you're the you're the person that's here you you know 
You're alive. You woke up another day, which means what? You have purpose behind who you are. You know, so why not add some value and some intent to the things that you're doing, you know, every single day to, to get you where you want to go, to get you to, you know, wherever your goals, you know, are, to get you to maybe just being a better version of you, to maybe getting to a calmer place mentally, physically, spiritually, you know, maybe getting to a place where you have balance in all those areas, because maybe there's so much going on this morning that you can't even hear yourself think. Maybe there's so much going on in your mind you know, uh, uh, up here, you know, that you're not able to process clearly. And that's why you came on here this morning, you know, because you're like, you know what? I know these guys, I know they talk about positive stuff. I know that, you know, they're, they're, they're always talking about that right frame of mind and getting yourself, you know, ready and whatnot. You know, so I, I don't know where you're at this morning, but I want you to take a position of confidence. I want to encourage you in that. You know, well, why should you be so confident? Once again, like I said, you made it. You're alive today. Why should you why should you have a position of defeat so early in the morning? Why should you have a why should you have a position of woe is me or oh I got to do this again today? You know, do you really have to? No. You're not stuck at that job with a ball and chain. You can go and say, "Hey, I'm quitting my job today." If you really hate it that bad, go and quit and go get another one. Plain and simple. You if if you really hate it that bad, you know, go find another job. It's not, it, you know, it, it's not that hard to go find another another gig someplace. It's really not. It's just about your perception. If you believe that you'll get a job someplace else and someplace is meant for, meant for you to be, then you'll go ahead and you'll do that. You're not stuck in any, any one place or any one thing. You're not stuck, period. That's a mentality. That's a thought process. We've discussed this so many times. If you were to take all of us, with whatever frame of mind we have right now, and take us and put us in an event for the weekend. And we go and we get pumped up, we get encouraged, we get a lot of information, we get a lot of stuff that we need to implement. We leave that place feeling, feeling, you know, victorious. We leave that place feeling like we could accomplish anything. You know, like there's nothing, there's nothing too big, nothing too great that we can't knock out. You know, that's how we will end up leaving. Well, what has changed? Just our mentality during that time, because we got you know, some mental injection because we got some encouragement. We got a new frame of a mind in as far as thinking. Somebody, you know, maybe they gave us some nuggets about life where we were able to relate to that and go, man, you know what? That's my situation. Or you know what? I've been there before. Or I've had this difficult time before. Or, you know what? That's how you do that. Mm, it all makes sense now. Maybe there's something that's just going to click like never before. But, but, but what's the difference if we were to go to this big old event? Our frame of mind and our frame of thinking and what we're talking, what do we talk about every single morning? We talk about the habits that you're practicing. We talk about routines. We talk about, you know, telling yourself, I love you. We talk about connecting to your source, whatever your source is. We don't push our beliefs and our belief system upon you, but we're just telling you what's been working for us. We're telling you, you know, on, on how we're claiming the victory, how we're walking confidently, how we're succeeding in our lives. You know, how we're accomplishing things, knocking out our goals and making progress, family, business, or other. You know, that's all we're doing. So, hey, if it works for you, by all means, gravitate towards it. Take it, you know, mend it to who you are. Make it a lifestyle practice, not a, hey, just a, hey, I'm going to do this one, two, three. I'm going to do this five days a week, two days a week. Let's see what happens. No, it can't even be a 90-day thing. A 90-day thing will get you, get you going and kind of get that ball rolling, but you've got to make practicing positivity you've got to make walking confidently you've got to make tapping into your source part of your routine you've got to make looking at yourself positive to, po positively speaking over yourself positively you've got to make that a part of your routine that has got to be a part of your your dna so to speak you know you've got to make that a part of you nobody's gonna do the heavy lifting in your life for you nobody you know Quit. You want to ask? I, I seen you go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, uh, you know, most people say, well, you know, uh, it's a curse. It's a family curse. Oh, it's, uh, you know, it's passed down from generation to generation in my family. Guess what? I broke the chain. I made a new, ch new chain, new chain line in my DNA, like he said, because I there wanted something different and I wasn't going to be like my father was to my mother. So I knew when I got with my wife, I knew I was going to be a better person than my father was at that time frame that I got to visually see. And then I knew the way that he treated me and I was not going to treat my children that way. So I've broken that chain. 
then he is not somebody that knew how to handle monetary funds. So I didn't listen to him. So I broke that chain. So no matter what, you're not stuck within anything. And it's not a family curse. It is something that you have chosen to make an excuse of. Yeah, a lot of people make excuses in life. And you're absolutely right, Thomas. You know, a lot of times we'll, we'll reference what you just worded as like taking somebody else's belief, somebody else's mentality, somebody else's thinking, somebody else's practice and making it your own. And yes, that's the truth. It, sometimes it operates and people people receive it as, oh, that's, a, that's just a curse has been passed from generation to generation. Sometimes that is the case, but the buck can stop here. The buck can stop with you. It's, it's a choice. Every single day we're making choices, every single, so, so in, our, in our 24 hours, we've said this a million times, but both the, the, the beggar and the billionaire, the trillionaire, whatever, they both have 24 hours in a day, but it is what they're going to do in that day, how they're going to choose to, how they choose to spend that time that makes the world of a difference, you know, because you can take that, you can take that, that, that homeless man and give him millions and trillions and billions, but if it doesn't have the right set of, set of, you know, thinking, if he doesn't have the right frame of mind, then chances are he might be back in poverty. He might be back homeless 10, 20 years, you know, maybe even sooner than that, you know, depending on how fast he's going to spend that money. But if you were to take that, take that wealthy man, because he has a wealthy frame of mind and you were to take everything away from him, I guarantee you that that money that you took it away from him will be back in his hands sooner than later. Why? Because he has the mentality to take himself there. He's not going to gravitate towards the negativity. He's not going to receive you know, the curses or stuff that's been brought upon him or the limitations that people have tried to set on his shoulders, set on him, speak over his life, you know? No, thank you. I don't want that. I don't want that energy. I don't, I don't, I don't want the wavelengths. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't receive that negativity. I don't receive any of that. I'm going to develop my own frame, I'm, a, a frame of mind, my own thinking, my thinking that's going to, that's gonna, you know, prove to be positive, that's going to prove to be fruitful in my life, that's going to make some progress and get me going. You know, Thomas started off talking about the, the, the circles that you guys are, are in as well. You know, the people that you surround yourself with, he, he, he kind of touched, touched on that one. That's a major, major, major nugget. You know, who, who's influencing you and who are you allowing to influence you? You know, and at that, what are you doing, okay, to, to pour yourself out and to influence another person? You know, that's, that's threefold right there. That's threefold. So as far as what's being imparted into you, who you're allowing to impart into you, and then what you're imparting into somebody else. Those things are vital too. I mean, are you here just for you? Or are you here for something better? Are you here to, to compliment and sharpen and make somebody else better? The things that we go through in our life aren't just for us, but to learn, to gravitate from, and hey, say, hey, brother, sister, whoever, you know, mom, dad, aunt, uncle, can, can I tell you that I've taught my parents plenty of things in this life? I've taught my parents plenty of things in this life. That's the joy, guys. But I only got to that place by saying, hey, you know what? Thanks, mom. Thanks, dad. But I don't receive that. I'm going to try something new. Thanks, mom. Thanks, dad. But, you know, that, that didn't prove to be successful for you. That, that, that advice you gave me really didn't work. And I tried something new. And I'll introduce something to them. And I've changed their thinking. I've influenced their everyday lives. I've influenced how they spend their money, how they save their money. I've influenced them in, in such a positive frame. That's a blessing to do that to some, to, to the people who brought you here, you know, but it's, it's all in that frame of mind. It's all in your thinking. It's all in how you're processing. It's all in the confidence level. If you could take who you are right now and put it into that 15 year old version of you, where would you be at the age of 21? Where would you be at the age of 25 at 30? You know, think about that. Cause, Cause we walk with a certain confidence level now, right? So thank you. You would take the confidence level of a man or a grown woman and put it in a boy or a young lady. Think of the, the impact that that person could have, but well, we can't go back and change that. No, but I'm, I'm just saying, so, so think about it. If you were to impart yourself into somebody else, me and Thomas were having this conversation the other day, you know, on the, the ripple movement, the ripple effect of, of us sharpening each other every single morning and how that can have an impact to all of our individual families' lives and how they can have an impact on the people that they're surrounding themselves with, whether it be at work or at school, at church, family, party, gathering, it doesn't matter. But think of that. So, so for all of those people that said when we were kids that one didn't matter, that the power of one was nothing, take that. Take that, liar. That's how I look at that. Take that, you know? fable teller because that's what that is you were telling lies you were trying to put your limitations upon us 
trying to put limitations on life in itself. Life can be fruitful. Life can be a place of abundance. But it's about you operating in it. If you're going to walk in abundance, then you'll receive abundance. You walk defeated, then you walk with that, like, oh, my head is down. I guess I'm defeated. It's a choice, guys. So you have the power and the choice today to operate in abundance, to operate in the more, to operate in even if you're not where you want to be, you can get yourself there. That's the choice you have today. That's what's on your plate today. What's on my plate today, Julio? That's what I'm giving you. Chew on that. Love you guys, man. Power, power, power. That's what that is. You know, Julio needs a stage. Oh, it's coming. Hit. It's already there, brother. Oh, yes. Miss Ashley, you got anything on that this morning? Yeah, no, that's straight fire. I love that. And it's so true. It's like at the very end when you just said, even if you're not where you want to be, what I was thinking and like filling in that last little piece is you can still feel the emotions of what it feels like to be where you want to be, right? So whatever your goal is or whatever your vision is or whatever your end outcome is, right? So many people think about the, out, the end outcome and that they're not there yet. They're not there yet, not there yet. Well, the focusing on the not there yet is actually focusing on the lack of or that it's missing, right? You can still recreate the same emotion, the joy that you would feel, the love that you would feel, the excitement that you would feel, the prosperity, the health, the wealth, everything that you would feel in that having your end goal I don't even like saying end goal because we never, it never ends. <laughs> but anyways, having it completed, you can still feel that. In fact, that is the secret, right? Is feeling it even without it having to have been there yet, right? And, and like we talk about the word alignment is when you can get yourself to that place without having to have it, right? The detachment from it that is the very moment that we're in line to make it all happen. So it's the craziest thing, right? You've got the goal, but if you can't get yourself into that feeling place and you're like, oh, I'll feel better once I get there. Everything will fall into place once this happens. It's conditional. I will feel better once this happens. Once I have the money, everything will be fine. It will be easier. I will feel better. I will be excited, right? It's backwards. And I know sometimes in the beginning phases, it's the hardest thing to wrap the mind around because it seems so logical that I will feel better when I don't have to stress about money, right? It's the money that will alleviate the stress. Then I can feel good. I get it. It seems like it would be that way, but it cannot move into our um, existence until we're already in that place. The abundance, the love, the joy, the excitement, the celebration, the happiness, contentment, attachment, right? We have got to get there first. We have to. So that's why we always talk about changing to a better feeling thought, even if that's what it takes, even if it's just better than the last one, right? Using the stepping ladder to get to the feeling it's just about the feeling it's not about what your eyeballs are seeing it's not about what your hands can touch it is about the actual emotion that is emanating from your body your soul right our, our value i don't think our value is based off of conditions to begin with it's not mm -hmm. mine isn't you know, our value is so much more than what we realize from the get go, regardless of the hell that may be going on in your mind or around you. You know, I, I, I dare to say that when we're looked at um, from the creator, when he looks at us, he sees the finished product anyways. You know, he sees us in our, in our full glory, so to speak, and operating in that. It's us that when we look in the mirror, we see a lack thereof, you know, because of our frame of mind. You know, we see limitation. But when somebody else looks at us, they see possibility, you know. It's like it's equivalent to us being our worst critic. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing is, is like, 
everything is always perfect, no matter what, even in the wrongdoings, even in the people that we want to look at in this world and say, you're a monster. How could you do something like that? Right? It's all there for a reason. Everything is always perfect. Literally every single stage, every action, every word, whether you label it as horrible, terrible, bad, good, wonderful, it's all, it's all perfect. It is all there. They're all gifts. It's contrast because without one, we would not have the other, right? It's designed. It, it, it's perfect. <laughs> Everything is always perfect. So just remember that in those moments when you're being hard on yourself, right? Or when you find yourself like talking down or being upset with where you are, or why can't I get this? Why does it seem easier for somebody else? What's wrong with me? Like, you know, I'm just not as good or I just can't do this. I'm just not made for this. All of that, that talking down on yourself is there's nothing that you need to do ever. You're already complete. You're already perfect. There's literally nothing more you need to do than just experience and live, right? It's all for your pleasure. It's all for your joy. That's it. Actually, I just, I just, uh, I just saw the, uh, you know, yesterday you guys were talking about your son, you know, wanting to show his costume to us all. <clears throat> so imagine for a second, if when we all looked in the mirror, we saw Superman or Superwoman, not the Superman or the Superwoman, but you, you know, with that S on your chest, you know, every time, you know, we looked at each, at ourselves in the mirror. We saw ourselves with being super instead of a lack thereof. Hmm. Something cool to see in the spirit, guys. If you could see that over yourself, man. Yeah, it's super cool. And it's, it's such a beautiful place to move into when it starts to, to sink into a much deeper level because it doesn't matter who you see and where you see them when the judgment slips away, like sometimes it's really hard to not judge people, right? Because sometimes you're like, <laughs> like, right? Some people, it, it's hard some days, but it's like, it's such a beautiful place when even in somebody's worst moment or most idiotic moment or whatever, when you're looking at them and where you used to see idiocy or like the hell are you thinking you know you now just see love and it's like respect for the stage that they're at the journey that they're on that it's just all theirs and on other days they probably choose to share different parts of themselves and you're excited to see that day even if it's a complete stranger right having this feeling of love for this being even if you don't agree in that moment that it's right for you to act that way. Right. Now just think if um, all of this that we're talking about here and you were a child with the, the like Ashley's two boys, the untainted souls. Okay. The spirits that are here with the energy of all knowing and yet bringing all the creativity out. Just think if, these two children, along with Matthew Jang and, and their children, they are giving the energy and the nourishment of love from day one. Now, think how much they are going to accelerate at 15 and 16 and 17 and 18, not being the fear because they understand the power that they have within because their mother is nourishing them now. Just think if you would have had this within your life where you would be at right now in your stage of life, if you would have had this thought process started way back when. So what are we doing here each day? We're unwiring your thought process that you have been from your eight years of age until your age now. So this rewiring that we're doing every morning right here, is assisting you to get to that better thought process, to have that childlike happiness within your heart every single morning, that childlike energy every single day. Because how many of you, and I said it when, when I had my kids, man, I wish I could harness that energy that child had. Guess what? It never left you. 
it's still in there. You still have that energy. You still have that vibration. You still have that childlike creativity mindset. And guess what? Now you know you don't have a teacher watching you over your shoulder saying, you're outside the line, son. Color inside the line. No, it doesn't matter. Color where you want. Color what you want. What color you want it to be. You know, if my rooster is pink today, then my rooster is pink today. That's what I'm going to color. You know, you want yours red, paint it red. Perfect. And like Ashley said, no matter what you do today, you are casting judgment on yourself before you even start something. You're doing it wrong. Do not cast judgment over you before you start something. Go in there with a knowing that I expect to have all this done perfectly and great and in a timely manner, and I'll be able to enjoy the time while I'm doing it. Because you put that thought process to it. Enjoying everything that you're doing, but just know that this rewiring and everything that we keep telling y'all every day, there's a reason. Okay, there is a reason because it is what has assisted us and the people that we have been around and been able to nourish and learn from and, and receive from and give out to as well. Because there's leaders that I work with every day that I went to learn from that they learn from me as well because we all have a story. We all have knowledge. We all have a power. As long as you're able to sit down and listen just for a moment. So everything that you've heard within here already, just in the short period of time that we've enjoyed, you know, Ashley and Julio, y'all better take those nuggets, start implementing the little bits into your life. Just every day, a new little habit of something that you wasn't doing before a new little thought process or a new way of speaking to yourself doesn't take much. And then you will start seeing different things happen within you, your business, your life, your community and everyone around you because they will start seeing the difference within you going from the hell raiser with the long hair and goatees and tattoos and riding Harleys to drinking at every bar across town from state to state. Yes. I've been there. Did all the drugs. Yes. You know, Drank all the whiskey bottles I could find until I found them empty. I've been there. So these experiences, we all have our rewiring that we need to do and rework that we need to do within ourselves. But just taking care of this physical temple is the best thing that you, I could ever say today. Giving it the love that it needs, the nourishment that it needs. Because if we don't take care of it, it can go quickly. I lost two really good friends this week because of that kind of activity and they ended up in a car wreck, you know? So I want everybody here to know that tomorrow is not given. Pay attention to your choices you make today. That is for you and your family and have fun while you're doing it. Cause if you're not having fun in the process, then you have not listened. You need to go back and watch the replays because we want everybody to have love and happiness within your life. We're going to pass this on to Ms. Crystal. Can I just really quickly say yeah. the key to behind what you were saying there though, guys, is the word implementation and taking, taking it and implementing it, right? Not just taking this good, good vibration, this good hit in the morning. That's great too, right? But actually taking some of the stuff and implementing it. So if that means like choosing something and challenging yourself for the day, three days, five days a week, and just focusing on that one thing that's most important to you, that one thing that resonated with you and how you can take that through your week and be more conscious of it and heighten your awareness around it, then just do little pieces. Take that one thing. It's better to take one thing and work on it for a week than it is to try and take all of the downloads and not do any of them, right? Because it's great to come and get your boost for the day. It's wonderful. That serves a purpose as well too. But there's a lot of stuff in here that you can actually take and implement into your life and it's the implementation the action is where you'll see the change right because then you won't be dependent on this morning to get the hit you'll be able to get it all the time all the time from yourself that's right i like that so if this has ever good, gone away good wording good wording <laughs> yes because if this ever goes away then you have that practice within you like she said if something ever happens to the internet you now can take these practices and you can move forward with it each day, no matter what. 
Love it. Miss Crystal, go ahead. Good morning, family. So I want to let you know, you are strong for getting out of bed this morning, even if you felt as though you couldn't. You are brave for doing things, even though they scare you or make you anxious. That new life you want so bad is going to require you to let go of that old one and completely let it go. And then just one day, just like that, you'll rediscover your light. You'll embrace your inner warrior and you'll snatch your power back and the whole game will change. Thankfulness is the beginning of gratitude. Gratitude is the completion of thankfulness. Thankfulness may consist merely of words and gratitude is shown in your acts. So be thankful, be grateful and share your love. Thank you very much for that. Awesome. Yes. Be grateful. And it is daily. That is a practice that we all have within here that we know that we give up, get up every day to be grateful for our life and everyone that we get to surround ourselves within in the morning times like this meeting right here to mastermind each day. We're going to pass this one on to Miss Shannon to wrap us up this morning. Morning, everybody. For today, drink your coffee. Stay focused and positive. Don't freak out. Don't think about what can happen in a month. Don't think about what can happen in a year. Just focus on the 24 hours in front of you and do what you can to get you closer to where you want to be. Look for something positive in each day. Be strong, but not rude. Be kind, but not weak. Be humble, but not timid. Be proud, but not arrogant. You are what you do, not what you'll say you do. Can you say that last little section once again? The be proud, the be humble, the that one? Be strong, but not rude. Be kind, but not weak. Be humble, but not timid. Be proud, but not arrogant. Very good. Very good. That came straight from her heart, guys. She did not pull that out of Google. She did not ask anybody from that. She pulled it from her heart each and every day, these affirmations. And we want to thank each and every one of you that has come in here this morning and has given some love to spend your time with us, to share the moments, and to be able to enjoy the words that we're able to pass out each day. The co-creating that we do within here is a mastermind of entrepreneurs from across the world who are bringing their time to be able to give you inspiration, knowledge, and love from our hearts. We thank everybody that's come out today. Y'all have a good day. We'll see y'all tomorrow.